How do I organize and develop my supporting reasons? In this lesson, you will learn how to organize and develop supporting ideas by using boxes and bullets. Let's review the important parts of an opinion essay. An opinion essay should include words that show strong feelings, an opinion statement, and reasons that support the opinion. Keep these things in mind as you start to draft your body paragraphs. It's important to remember that strong reasons will support your thesis statement. So if my thesis statement was turtles are the best pets, I need reasons to support that. Here's, here's one. Turtles are unique and beautiful. Turtles are quiet. Turtles are easy to care for. These are three separate reasons that support my thesis. Let's look at where we're at in the writing process. We've generated our ideas and now we're writing drafts of our body paragraphs. It's really important to have three separate reasons. Sometimes as writers give reasons, they are really saying the same thing over and over again in a different way. Let's look at this example. Turtles are low maintenance. Turtles are easy to care for. You won't have to spend a lot of time cleaning up after your turtle. All three of these are basically saying the same thing. You're going to have a stronger argument if you can say three separate reasons and you're going to give your reader more to think about. It's also not enough to just state your reason. Make sure you can explain your reason further give, by giving experiences and facts to back it up. In order to begin to, in order to develop your ideas for your body paragraphs, write your reason in a box. Ask, what are some examples that support this reason? List your examples as bullets. And then ask, what are my personal experiences that support this reason? List your experiences as bullets as well. First, write your reason in a box. I'll start with my first reason. Less trash means smaller landfills. I'm going to put this, I'm going to take my reason and say it in a sentence. If people recycle, there will be less trash. Less trash means smaller landfills. This will become my topic sentence later on. Next, think about examples that would support your reason. Hmm, what examples can I use to explain that less trash will mean smaller landfills? Well, it's clear that, uh, that more trash will take up a lot of space. And I know that there's a lot of items that you can recycle that, that do take up a lot of space, like boxes and um, large containers. That's space that could be saved in a landfill. So I'm going to write this as a bullet. Many items that can be recycled, like bottles and boxes, take up a lot of space. If people recycle these items, they are saving landfill space. Now, think about what personal experiences have helped form your opinion. Think about ones that are really going to make your argument stronger. I'm thinking about my experience visiting the landfill because I was so shocked by how much waste there was. I'm going to turn this into my reason. When I visited a landfill, I was surprised by the size and amount of, of waste. If you combine all the landfills in the world, that's a lot of waste. So I use this experience to support my reason. You can repeat this process with all three of your reasons and you will develop really strong ideas for your body paragraphs. In order to develop your reasons and experiences, write your reason in a box. Ask what are some examples that support this reason. List your examples as bullets. And finally, ask what are my personal experiences that support this reason. List those personal experiences as bullets as well. In this lesson, you have learned how to organize and develop supporting ideas by using boxes and bullets.